Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be unboxing Escape the Dark Sector by Keenborn Games. Uh, this is a gaming company that's out of the UK. I have their previous game, which is from a Kickstarter as well, called Escape the Dark Castle. And these are games that are meant to be sort of an introductory to tabletop gaming. So in Escape the Dark Castle, you would get chapter cards that would have different obstacles on it or just storytelling elements on it and what you would do is you would go through all these chapters trying to escape a castle that you started out as a prisoner in and you would get items you would do combat uh, it's a really neat game uh, I will probably review that at some point this is along the same lines except it has a little bit more depth uh, especially to the combat combat in this lets you take cover it has ranged combat uh, you can reload your weapons things of that nature so it's pretty neat I'm just gonna I only know that because I read the instructions when this when it first came out and I don't know if I look at my plastic at all now the previous game escape the dark castle had really excellent production value. So I'm hoping that that all translated into this as well. So, box is not nice, has a nice textured feel to it. Um, I don't know how you'd be able to tell it over the video, but if you he listen to it, almost like it's corduroy. very sturdy box be well made I'm not a huge box nerd but this is pretty nice their 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 stuff is pretty solidly built got a rule book Let's see what we got I really love the artwork style of this of these games rule book looks nice pretty straightforward I've, like I said, I've, I've read it online. It's it's very easy to understand. It's laid out very well. I didn't run into any weird wording issues. Although I haven't played the game yet, so we'll have to see. There you go. There's this Escape the Dark Castle. Now I did do this on a Kickstarter. The only thing that I didn't do is I didn't kickstart for the playmats, which I know I'm going to end up regretting. Um, I ended up not kickstarting the playmats for Escape the Dark Castle, and I regretted that. I ended up actually going and getting the playmats for that afterwards. So these are the chapter cards, and most likely the character cards as well. These, are, these also have a really, really nice, thick, excellent finish over to begin so these are the starting cards I guess I guess there's different modes that you can start with you have random starting cards that's pretty cool the escape the dark castle had the same starting cards and these are all all look like chapter cards and let's see do not read until you've done the last chapter card all right so these are bosses and these will probably be users. All right, so yeah. So these are your character cards. Play all different characters. A neat thing about this, if you've played Escape, Dark, Escape the Dark Castle, you'd know that in it, all of the characters in it are professions. They're named after professions. So you'd have a smith, a tanner, a cook, an abbot, things like that. With this, they do the same thing except they just give them a rank. So Lieutenant Smith, Lieutenant Miller, Lieutenant Tanner, Lieutenant Cook, Lieutenant Taylor, Lieutenant Abbott. So that's pretty neat. I like how they did that. Artwork on both sides of the card is really nice. Like I said, I'm, I'm really a fan of this style of artwork. And let's take a look at some of these. Alright, so these are these are the boss cards. So you have the entity, 
Mother of Machines, Alien Queen, Sergeant Steel, and Cerebron. And all these have different symbols down here. This is all for when you're doing combat. It's pretty cool. Artwork there is solid also. And let's check out these chapter cards. Yeah, these look all look pretty cool. All straight straight out straight up homage to aliens, my favorite movie. Oh. These look like the vampires from Near Dark. That one actually looks kind of like Bill Paxton. And it looks like he's carrying a... Oh no, sorry. For a second I thought it looked like a M41A pulse rifle. These are pretty cool. So the object of this game is you're all, instead of being imprisoned in a dark castle, you're all on a space station. So your ship was impounded, you are put in prison on the space station, and somehow you get out and... Let's see, having finally, having finally deactivated the brig's containment field, you head off directly for your ship's last known location. In your haste, you stray off course, marching right into a dead end. And then you have choices that you can make. So this is a lot like an introduction to tabletop, sort of a choose-your-own-adventure in a way where different choices you make will have different pros and cons, and you go about them the same way. If it goes by the other game, uh, the way the other game did it, it'll be more like you'll have chances to take risks during combat or before going into combat. Like, do I jump them? If I jump them, I, I, I get a bonus. They start out with less health, but they do more damage back to me. Or do I let them do less damage? You know, it, it, it all depends. These are, these look like some player reference cards. And then there's a bunch of item cards. These all look pretty cool. Nice looking weapons. I like the way they, they introduced a lot of the new concepts to fighting in this one, like flanking and ranged weaponry. These cards also feel pretty nice. Nice small size. You have your medical records. So this is just keeping score. And then you have, comes a couple of small pencils. I like things that come with that when they come with pads. Otherwise it's kind of annoying. And then you have dice. And this game comes with a lot of dice. So there's two different sizes to the dice. So you have these big chunky dice. And the black ones are chapter dice. So these are when you, the ones you roll. Uh, for certain kinds of effects in chapters when you're turning over chapter cards. And those are also how you keep the health, track of the health of whoever you're fighting. So if you're, you're whoever you're fighting's health is, let's say, too cunning, a strength and a wisdom, then the players in the game have to roll those symbols. And each one that they roll gets one health taken away. So you get all of them away and then you win. And then each character will have their own specific die. So if you can see here, you have their names on the dice. And depending on who you play, they'll have different at attributes. So let's say the Miller. Miller will have, it looks like, a double of strength and a double of cunning. Uh, Cook has the same. Let's see, where's the other ones? Then you have someone like the Smith, who has a double of strength and a double of wisdom. Uh, here's another strength and wisdom combo. This one is a cunning and wisdom combo. So it's pretty well balanced for the characters. A bunch more smaller dice here. These dice are very much the same as the ones that came with the other game. So they have a nice feel to them. The symbols on them are slightly more angular so it's more fitting the sci-fi theme where everything was more squared off whereas the other one was more elegant I would say and you have these small dice these are probably these look like they're for ranged combat and this is probably for enemy ranged combat there's a lot of these suckers The 
they feel nice. They have good weight to them. They're very, very solid. Cast well. The images that are etched into them are nice. They all look pretty much the same. Doesn't look like there are any weird misprints or weird issues with them. Not that I expected anything different from this company, because I, I actually really, really like their other game. Very cool. I like it. So, that's what we got. Roll well. Wow. The only thing you might run into uh, an issue is these big. These other dice are pretty big. These are pretty chunky. I have I have pretty big hands. So you see, this is about the size of a normal six sider. So you can see the difference. In um, let's see if I hold this over here, you can see it a little better. It's a pretty sizable difference. So if you use a dice tower to roll, these might give you an issue. I don't know that they're going to fit in my dice tower. I, I highly doubt it. But they roll pretty pretty nice. And I have a big dice tray that I use when I roll dice. And uh, they they roll really well on that. Uh, looks like some of these are a little different. Yeah, these are all slightly different. Some of these are... I'm going to have to look up what's, what the difference is from one to the other. A big pro, I will say, for for this is along with their other game is that everything fits very easily into the box without me having to cram it in there I've run into kickstarters before where everything fits great in the box when you first start out and then after that you're kind of out of luck you're, you fit everything in the box when it's all in the punch cards but then no dice. You try to fit it in after that, and the box is kind of swelled up. Doesn't doesn't fit right on the um, on the shelf. So this does not have that problem. So there it is. Escape the dark sector. Hopefully, I can do a how-to video soon on this. I'm looking to get this on the table tonight, so long as I have time to read the instructions. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.